New London to serve New London County. Um, we also truck food twice a week up to Wyndham County in the northeastern wow. corner of the state. So we're dispersing it uh, you know, throughout those six counties. And all of our food we inventory. We uh, keep track of everything as it comes in, weigh it and uh, account for it, put it into the computer such that when Cheryl comes to shop we know where what she has picked up and you know where the food has gone should there be a recall or some reason that oh, we need to track it. Right, very good idea. Uh, I, I was amazed by the process to be candid with you and, I, and when Cheryl you were doing your shopping up there I was absolutely amazed uh, on the inventory list mm -hmm. that was taken as we were sort of looking around the facility. Um, but and the volunteers, thats it's just remarkable. And when you go to the food pantries out there and you see these volunteers who, it's, it's labor. I mean, it's tough work out there. How many volunteers are at the food bank? We had uh, just over 1,500 volunteers during the course of last year. And I know Masters Manor, you guys have got a lot of volunteers with all the different services that you do out in that yes, area. Yes, we have just over 100 volunteers. And always looking for more. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Always looking mm -hmm. for more. <laughs> and we're going to put a phone number up and some other graphics up to contact uh, either one of these agencies in a little bit. But you know, you could help by uh, giving food to the food banks, but you could also help by giving your time. And time is a precious thing, and I understand that. But even a couple hours a week uh, donated to help these causes, especially during this tough economic time, is going to help out hundreds of people. Mm -hmm. And so, when somebody wants to donate food, I go to stop and shop, I buy a couple of extra cans of food. What do I do? What do, we, do I have to drive all the way to East Haven? I have to drive all the way to Wallingford? What is a way that I could get the food to, to the food bank or to Master's Manor? Nancy? We try to match it up to be as close to the person who has picked up the food as possible. Uh, certainly for folks in the East Haven area, they can bring it to our warehouse, but we're uh, certainly not, if someone's in Wallingford, we don't want them to come down to East Haven and then to go back to Cheryl and Wallingford. So folks can uh, give a call to our main line in East Haven and uh, let us know where you are and we'll match you up with the closest uh, spot for delivery. So you're going to make it as convenient as, as can possibly be for those people who want to give and we want to make sure that people do give and this is a, an important time. Cheryl, how about you? How does that work where, where you are? Well, we've been very fortunate this season that a lot of the school systems, the Boy Scouts, um, a lot of the local stores have stepped up to the plate and they have actual food collection times and sites and I know a lot of that information has been dispersed through town so put it on your, your um, mailbox outside, give it to the Boy Scouts when they come knocking on the door, drop it off at Stop and Shop. Very good. Yeah. Now we have a display behind us. I don't want to knock it over, but we have a display behind us of food. Nancy, can you talk about this display? It says a five dollar donation. Um, I'll put my glasses on and read the rest. This is a five dollar <laughs> donation. Can you explain this? We, because we're working with food that's been donated to us, it comes to us from uh, national companies, manufacturers, wholesalers, retailers, national and local, plus the public. The food is donated. Some of our costs may be transportation to get it from Chicago to Connecticut. But that's where a dollar is greatly magnified. For every five dollars given to Connecticut Food Bank, we're able to provide food for 17 meals. And this is a representation that uh, is, uh, basically represents what five dollars can do. So it's a great magnifier that uh, is hard to match. That is very hard to match. I mean, that's five dollar donation. So when you talk about the way you can contribute to either one of these organizations, we're talking about you can give your time, a couple hours a week, you could give food, buy an extra couple cans of food a week when you go shopping, and the third issue is you could give money. And when you give five dollars, look what you have done. Look at this package of food for five dollars. That's a significant, significant uh, amount of groceries that you could deliver to someone who uh, who is in need. Now, just so I understand, I, you know, I, I saw you shopping, if you mm -hmm. would, and I'm not sure that's the right term, at uh, Connecticut mm -hmm. Food Bank. How does um, how does all this kind of work? How do the different pantries work with the Connecticut Food Bank? From your perspective, first, Cheryl, I know you go up there. You said once a week. Do you go other places, or no? That's your main. That 
Connecticut Food Bank is our main source. We get about 50% 50, 50 of our food. Um, we go every Friday. We have a standing appointment, and we get our basics there. We get the TFAP food. We get the fresh produce and the dairy products. Um, we get whatever salvage is available. And again, just to let you know how far that $5 goes, I mentioned earlier we pick up between 27 and 3,500 pounds of food a week. That costs us between 45 and 60 dollars. Wow, wow. We can fill a 14 foot box truck for 45 to 60 dollars. That's unbelievable. So it's amazing. And it, you know, that really, it makes, a, that's a huge impact. It's Absolutely. Huge. Nancy, now in North Haven, you know, I know we have Masters Manor, we have your place out here. North Haven, what what do you do for North Haven from a Connecticut Food Bank perspective? There are a number of uh, member agencies of Connecticut Food Bank here in North Haven. Um, I believe there's perhaps eight, uh, some that are uh, houses of worship and some that are private nonprofits. Okay, and what, what I'd like to do now is put up on the screen, uh, before we run out of time, put up on the screen the phone numbers and addresses and uh, um, I think it's um, websites of both the Connecticut Food Bank and Masters Mana. Now, really, take some time. I want to keep that graphic up. Take some time. Write these numbers down. Go to those websites. Make a difference make a difference. You know you know how hard it is at home with the economy. Can you imagine people who just can't stretch that dollar any further? You can make a tremendous, tremendous difference in people's lives. You look at this prop over here on my side, just think that's what five dollars does. We talked about how many tons or cartloads of food we can get with forty-five, sixty-five dollars. That's the power that they have from organizations not only as yours but these other corporations who are trying to help you out and getting the food to you. I think you guys are doing a, a terrific job. Uh, I know we. I'm going. I think for a turkey thing over right in the, at the Connecticut Food Bank in a couple of weeks. The Thanksgiving drive for turkeys. Good. Right, and that's always very important yes. at this time of year. Yes, and yet the need, uh, it's a time when a lot of folks start thinking about uh, giving and, and such because it's the season, but to remember the need goes on year round. So for uh, folks that can't help right now, next month will be fine too. Now, Cheryl, with you, do you guys have a turkey drive of anything, or you just say, listen, it's all good? Um, actually, we're having our third annual Turkey Tossing Tuesday. We're I wasn't even invited. <laughs> really? I wasn't invited to this turkey toss. Yeah. Well, you can join us at 8 o'clock at Connecticut Food Bank on the 24th of November. We're loading up the truck with the turkeys. We're heading back to Masters Manor, and we'll be distributing turkeys from 10 in the morning until 6 in the evening, along with all the rest of the goodies that go along with Thanksgiving dinner. So what's a turkey toss? I mean, you literally toss turkeys? Yeah, we toss them out of the back of the truck into the hands of the folks who need them. No, we, we place them gently in there. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, like to give it a little catchy phrase. You no, know? I like that. I like that. I was, I was ready to go. So uh, now, we did say after the holidays, I mean, this is the peak time. Obviously, we want everybody to, to have a, a good holiday uh, food uh, uh, dinner and meal. So we're pressing now for the holiday coming up, but certainly after the holidays, this need just doesn't go away. That's it right. is ongoing. Uh, every day is an effort. Every day, the contributions economically or volunteerism or giving uh, the, the uh, cans of food is all important. And just very briefly, if you can, what type of food, people always say, well, what do I give? What Maybe it should be what I can't give or what I shouldn't give. I shouldn't bring milk or I shouldn't bring something that spoils. Is that generally the, the trend? It should be non perishable items for a food drive things that are so we are not looking there for fresh carrots but canned carrots um, as a loose guideline if it's uh, vegetables to be no salt preferably for people with hypertension uh, if it's canned fruits to be ones that are in uh, with no sugar added or a light syrup but uh, basically it's what you were shopping for for your own family right. to buy an extra one or two to give to somebody else and that's what's important Cheryl you agree with that I mean you agree that that's the type of food stuff you guys look for as well no actually we're a little different because we're kind of selective with what our folks actually need and will eat we're always looking for for the cereal. That's a meal a kid can fix for themselves. Oh. We're looking for the rice. That's a main staple in a lot of the households that we serve. And we look for tuna fish because that's high protein. So yeah. those are the three really hot commodities for us. 
Yeah, I certainly didn't mean those are the only things we yeah, were looking right. for. But uh, okay. Well, you know, once again, I want to thank you guys for coming on the show. This has just been terrific.